Today, we're making jerk chicken on Boomstick Barbecue. And one of the most important parts of jerk chicken is the marinade. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. We have all the ingredients here ready to go set out. Uh, there'll be a list in the description for you to be able to see exactly what the amounts are and so forth. But here's everything. I'm gonna put it into my Ninja Blender and we're gonna get after it. So the first thing we're gonna put in is the onion. You can use red or white. I like white for this. A little bit of ginger. Of course, your habaneros. You need those to get it spicy. A little bit of the thyme. Malt vinegar. Your spice mix. For all the flavors. tablespoons of oil. And to really sweeten it up, make sure everything mixes well, I'm going to do two tablespoons of molasses as well. Do the oil before the molasses, because molasses comes out a lot easier if you do it. We're gonna get this blended up, get it ready for the chicken. We're gonna spatchcock the chicken. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. So the next step we wanna do for the chicken, we wanna make sure it cooks evenly on the big green egg. And jerk chicken's best kinda like grilled a little, like smoke grill, if that makes any sense. So we wanna spatchcock this, so it's gonna make sure that it cooks evenly throughout. And to do that, just gonna flip the bird over. Oh, cut his backbone out. Grab the tail right there. Some kitchen shears makes this really easy. We're gonna just cut through. And there's part of it. I'll go over here, we'll do the, the other side. Sharp kitchen shears help a little better. Okay. Okay, we'll just toss that out. And now we're left with this. So it's kind of good sometimes to get right in there and kind of just give it a little cut right around the breast. Flip it over and squish it. And that'll make sure that it lies nice and flat on the grill. Now it's time to marinate this chicken with our wonderful marinade that we made earlier. Wear gloves when you do this because the peppers in here are hot and they will not wash off very easily. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour this stuff in. And we wanna save just a little for a little later. Okay, that should be enough for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda just go ahead and we're gonna mix this around onto the bird. Get them in there everywhere. And what I like to do is I like to get in underneath the skin. Just a little. And take some of the marinade and scoop it in there. Get it onto the meat. Do that at all the breasts and the thighs, get some of the marinade, and we'll just stick it in under the breast here. Massage that into the meat. Same thing over here. Be very careful not to rip the skin, because we're gonna crisp this up nicely later on the big green egg. And rub that in. One last place, we'll go ahead and get some marinade here. That's gonna make sure the meat has all that wonderful flavor. The skin has the flavor. The chicken has the flavor. This is my jerk chicken. We're gonna get it on the grill a little later, marinate this overnight, or, you know, at least six to 12 hours. Overnight is better.
Okay, so it's time to put this jerk chicken on the grill. We have it set up to about 325 right now, which is pretty good, right where we want it to be. And we're gonna go ahead and burp the egg, get her opened up, and it smells good in there. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start, and this is a big bird. We're gonna put this skin side down with the dark meat near the back. And we're just gonna let it cook that way for a little while. And then we'll come out and check it on here in a little bit. So you remember that uh, sauce we were talking about, what we wanted to save a little bit for? Well, we went ahead and we put it in the pan and we reduced it by about half to get a little bit of a thicker consistency. Uh, and here's the trick for this. So we're gonna make a sauce. This is gonna go on the chicken later. This is the jerk sauce. It is spicy, but to add a little sweetness and a little flavor and a little dis deliciousness, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of coconut milk. So we're gonna just kinda add that until we have it kind of about where we think we need it. And we mix it in. And that's gonna make it nice and creamy. I think maybe just a tad more. And that should do it. Then what we wanna do is kinda of simmer this just a little let all the flavors mix together and that is going to be an excellent sauce right there so it's been on here for a little while we went ahead and we flipped it a minute ago and would you just look at that that has got a good looking skin on it it's cooking on the other side and we decided we're going to just go ahead and we're going to baste it a little bit with some of that uh, marinade that we saved Just get a little bit of that on, a little extra flavor on there, and it'll kind of cook into it as the bottom's finishing. Oh, that's going to be good. We'll go ahead and shut her back down, and we'll let it go for a little longer. So there she is, off the grill. We got a really good color on it, a really good skin, nice char on there looking great. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting this thing up and we'll plate it. Okay, so we want to quarter this up a little bit because we're going to use the dark meat tonight and we're going to use the breast meat tomorrow for part two, which is going to be Jamaican jerk chicken wraps. So make sure you check that out tomorrow. Uh, but right now we want to go ahead and quarter it. The wings might be missing. I, I might have ate those off camera. Sorry about that, but uh, I was hungry. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and get the, uh, the bottom quarters off, and this chicken is juicy. Okay, so we're going to save the breasts for later. And we'll go ahead and we will process this a little more. Okay, so now we have the pieces. Now to do it kind of like they do in the islands, you really kind of want to process it even more. So you just, that's kind of how you get it at the jerk shack. So all chopped up like this, a little messy, right through the, the thigh bone. And now we have our jerk dark meat. So we're going to plate it up and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so let's plate this up. So we made some Jamaican red beans and rice, uh, you know, rice with a little coconut milk and so forth. Maybe we'll do a video on this eventually. But a really cool thing, if you do it into uh, a cup like this, number one, you know how many calories you're getting if you're interested in that. And number two, you can kind of make a cool like mound like that if you want to make it look a little fancy. So we'll take some chicken. And we'll just kind of put it around like so. We'll take some of that jerk sauce that we had earlier and we'll get a little bit for the rice and the chicken and a little bit everywhere else in case you need some for dipping. Well, that looks good. And the last thing we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of green onion, just kind of on the plate. And there is Jamaican jerk chicken.